Hello everyone, welcome to another demo on flowers. This time I picked magnolia and uh, as you see I picked this reference photo for it but actually I rotate, rotated several times and I pick the angle that I'm working and now and I um, eliminate some of those um, flowers and actually I set up my composition um, and of course I look at the reference photo uh, from time to time um, to grab certain ideas or notions that's it um, okay I wet the paper first and then add a lightest color which is light green and then I add a little um, Van Dyke brown and try to um, do the background. And of course I can um, fade the colors in background, fade them out. Um, for having a subtle, um, beautiful background for it. Um, so now I'm trying to add um, a little cobalt blue and the colors that I use for background into the petals uh, because you know the everything that we are going to use in petals, in flowers or whatever we are painting. Um, we need to have in background as well. So this time I just add a little um, yellow. For me it's also yellow dip, but any kind of yellow works. And the pink one that I'm using here is Rose Matter. So, um, because the background is wet, I use uh, more pigment, which means more consistency uh, and less water. For green, I use Hooker's um, green, and of course I can mix it with yellow ochre, and if I want to make it darker, I can mix it with Van Dyke Brown or uh, Burnt Umber or even Cobalt Blue. It depends how um, you want your painting to be. Like if you want to have um, warm uh, values, you need to mix it with um, Yellow Ochre and Van Dyke Brown. And if you want to have cool colors, so you need to mix, mix it with cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, or any kind of blue. Um, but you know, in those petals, I'm using um, very, very watery um, colors, um, which means more water, less color. And then for background, um, I'm using the same color mixing of those colors that I've used for um, the petals, uh, but mo in more consistency. So um, I use different brushes according to what I want to um, paint, like round br brush or sword brush. Um, but remember, you need to use both belly and the tip of the brush um, 
time to time to have the variety in uh, the strokes and because the flowers are white so I'm trying to make the background darker and with negative painting I um, make the flowers look more white so the things that you add in background could be um, part of leaves or um, different uh, things in background like um, another flowers branches or whatever in background but they are not in a focal point so they need to be um, like um, subtle and not in detail So it's better to do petals, I mean, in the direction to the center or from center to the out uh, side of the petals, to the edge of the petals. Um, and then it's a good idea that you um, sometimes use the background um, colors into the petals. Um, to show the shadow inside the flower. I'm not painting every detail. Um, I'm just um, going to show the shape of them, the shape of the petals or the shape of the shadows like by big strokes um, so you can use the belly of the uh, brush And if you feel it's getting dry and you feel the paper um, is getting dry, you can just moist it with a um, spray bottle. And for the center, you need to add the next value. And as you know, um, at least you need to add three values. Um, to each part, even small part of the um, flower or whatever you are working on. So I put few dots with Van Dyke brown and I mix it with um, indigo to get darker color. Okay, again, uh, radiant green here, mix it with Van Dyke brown, brown. And because the paper is still wet, you don't get the um, hard edges, which is good. And if you get that um, hard edges, um, you can easily can um, spread it out with by using 
a spray bottle or just uh, fade it out with clean water and with a brush, I mean wet brush. Just wash those hard edges to get the soft, um, softer shape. Actually, you need to soften the edges. And a few lines and dots around um, create movement in the background. So I'm trying to separate petals from each other by adding few um, dark value uh, behind, which is which I call a negative painting. Um, so it makes it more three D. And I try to circulate the colors that the green that I'm using here I um, added in the right side of the painting so I try to have it in left side as well The dark color that I'm using in this one is indigo. Which I like it because um, it has a lot of blue in it. So it makes it more shadowy color. Sometimes by lifting up technique, using lifting up technique, you can um, create white areas. Of course, they won't be uh, white, white like at the paper, but um, it goes um, wider. So I'm trying to separate the petals again. And of course you can tilt the paper um, to get more access to the um, center, I mean the part that you are working on. It makes it easier. Add more shadow from those stamen on petals. You 
you know, I'm working on this one um, because this is my um, focal point. Um, so I need to go for more details um, than those um, upper ones. But remember, you always can add more details in the focal point. Okay, done. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you.